Hello and welcome to this episode of Simply Saturday, where I get to show you a card that is fast and easy to make. This is Stamp with Julie Baum and I'm Julie. Today's card involves designer series paper and I don't know about you, but I have found when I have these 12 by 12 sheets that have the print running from the end up towards the middle, I have found these a little bit challenging of how to use them. That is until now. I'm gonna show you how to make some really fast cards using these pieces, these types of pieces of paper. Um, this particular paper was a celebration paper, so it's not something that's available right now, but we do have a designer series paper sale going on, and in some of those 12 by 12 packs, you will find that type of design. So this is what I've done. I've taken this sheet and probably the easiest thing to do in the beginning is just cut it down the center at six inches. Then you're going to take that strip and I trimmed mine down a teeny bit more. So I have a five and a quarter inch length by a four inch width. So let me show you what those look like. All right, here are those three pieces. So five and a quarter inches by four inches. Now I've chosen three cardstock bases that coordinate with the colors that were in this designer series paper. So I have Rich Razzleberry, which is now a retired color. I have Fresh Freesia, which is available, and I have Mossy Meadow, which is also available. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is just attach my paper to my cardstock bases and I'm going to do that with some liquid glue. My base is five and a half inches by eight and a half and it is scored and folded at four and a quarter inches. All right so I know you're probably watching just to make one card but I'm showing you how with these three pieces you can really put three cards together very quickly. All right there's that one. Now let's put one on the Fresh Freesia. So in this instance, that designer series paper that at first seemed challenging to me is now making super easy, fast cards. Look at how beautiful it is. All right, and then we have a piece of Rich Razzleberry for our third one now. From here, we're gonna look at a stamp set that I also think might either have been ignored so far or considered a bit challenging as well. So that is this stamp set. It's called Charming Sentiments. Now, something that you might not know, <clears throat> there are 17 stamps in this stamp set. Each of them are a phrase or a saying. Then the coordinating dies that go with them, there are more than 17 dies, but there are 17 of them that actually completely coordinate with each set of words. So let me show you what I mean. I can take this stamp that has the words because you totally deserve it and find the die that coordinates it with it and this is going to essentially cut it out looking as if it was fussy cut with super precision. All right, so this is what it would look like once it's been stamped and then cut out with its coordinating die. Let's look at another one. This one is everything will be okay. And here is the coordinating die that goes with it. And once it's cut out, this is what you end up with. Just a precision die cut right around the words. Okay, then let's look at one more. Actually, let's do this one so I can show it to you. I need a scrap of cardstock. Um, I used the one I had, so hold on just a second. Here's my scrap, and I'm going to use Starry Sky ink, which is also a color that's reflected in my paper. OK, 
okay like so so you're gonna stamp your image oh I was gonna do a different one here let's do this one good thing I brought a big scrap let's do beyond grateful all right so there is my stamped image then I'm going to find the die that coordinates with it and so in this case it is this one so you can see how you line it up on there when I get ready to cut this with my stamp and cut and emboss machine I do put a little piece of post-it tape here to hold it you don't want this shifting at all because it's such a precision cut and then cut it out and you end up with this so let's take our little die cut greetings and add them to our cards and then the other thing at this point is I'm kind of looking for the space in where those words ought to go so let's look at this one I've got some white space up here and that's where I'm going to put these words and it ends up looking really really custom I'm having a hard time picking that one up all right a little bit of liquid glue attach that like so and we're basically finished we're gonna add one little thing to this at the end let's take a look at this one I think on this one I would go with that. I like how the words fit into that little space. And let's check this one, unless we should trade them. Mm, I think we'll trade them. I like how the OK drops down into this white space. So let's attach that. And our final one, a little bit of glue, and stick that into place. They look clean, professional, quite custom, and I love how easy. Now, what I would do to finish this off is take a little piece of twine. This is about five or six inches. I'm just going to tie a bow. Let's see if I can do it in one try. Nope, it's going to take a second try. Hold on. Come on, little loop. There it is. All right, once you've got your loops and your ends, you can tighten that up and then straighten it out. So I'm going to adjust my loops a little bit and tighten up my center. Okay, so to attach this, I'm going to take my Take Your Pick tool and a glue dot. I'm going to kind of wad that up a little bit. All right, and then I'm just going to place it right here on the card where I want my bow. Take my twine bow and stick the center of it right into that glue dot and give it a press. Now it's in place. I can take some scissors and trim up those ends. And I have a super cute and very professional, easy, fast card. So here's our cards. Here are, I think I have a couple others. That's funny. I'm sitting here at my desk and I have three others that I made and they are just out of reach. But the only difference, I added the other bows on the other three. But at this point, you can totally see... Oh, I see them. Let me show you all six. Here we go. Here's all six. You saw how fast we made three. So here would be a lovely gift for someone. Package these up along with six envelopes and you have a lovely gift. Thank you so much for watching today's card. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love to hear from you. Please leave a comment and let me know what you liked about it, and especially if you're gonna copy it and try one of these yourself. 
There is more information for you below this video if you open up that description box by clicking on show more. You'll find a host code and you'll also find some shopping links to make your experience even easier. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy stamping!